Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating some cards for you using the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit for December 2021. The first card that I'm going to create for you is recreating my countdown card. So it is this gorgeous, serene scene, and I'll be tweaking it just a bit. And then this second card that I'll be creating here is going to be using the background stamp that is included in the kit. This month's kit is all about cities and neighborhoods. You will be receiving a four by six clear stamp, 11 coordinating frame cuts, a fancy die cover plate measuring four and a quarter by five and a half, city cling stamp that is six by six, four sheets of black cardstock measuring five and a half by eight and a half, three reactive ink cubes in berry smoothie, fruit punch, and lemon drop, and also 10 clothespins. So here's the first card that I'm going to create for you, and this is using the cover plate that is included in the kit. I'm starting with a white piece of cardstock that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am using just some large post-it tape and masking off the bottom portion. Right now, I'm kind of setting my scene so I have the sky above and the water is going to be below. So where my post-it tape is, that is going to be my water, where my water and sky meet. Next, I have a piece of masking magic that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to die cut out a circle. This is going to be my moon. So by having my post-it tape at the bottom there, I am able to kind of eyeball about where my line is going to be and then measure out where I wanted the moon to be. Once I die cut that out of the masking magic, I'm saving both pieces, the negative and positive, and I'm taking the larger piece, peeling off that release paper, and then aligning this right on top of my card there. So I also have that post-it tape still there. And you can see through that circle, my line where the water line is going to be. So after I've pushed that masking magic down really well, this is just a masking paper and it is great because it does not leave any marks behind on your paper. I'm ink blending on my moon. So I am starting with soft vanilla ink in a blending brush going really, really light handed. I'm gonna leave the center of the moon kind of almost white. It's just got a little bit of color to it and then added more color to the outer edge. And now I just spritz down some water. I'm picking it up with a paintbrush and just lightly tapping on some of that water to leave just some texture to the moon to give it more of a realistic look. I dabbed up any of the excess water with a paper towel, and then I'm going to carefully remove this top mask. Now we barely used it, so you can put this off on the side to save for a future card. Leaving that post-it tape still there, I'm adding on the die cut masking magic I made of the circle. So this is covering our moon. Now I can work on my sky. I am starting with dusty blue, and I'm gonna go all around the outer edges of my card, just barely coming up to where the moon is. I don't wanna get right up next to it. I wanna leave just a very, very faint white down there. So it kinda of gives a glowing effect once this is all done. After I have my first layer down of that dusty blue, I'm gonna bring in indigo. Once again, going all the way around those outer edges, I'm gonna come in just ever so slightly into uh, towards the moon. I don't wanna cover up that dusty blue. And then I'm gonna really intensify this with navy ink. Now I did have to come in a little bit more than I wanted to because when I add my die cut piece on top, it's going to have a border. And so I would end up covering up a lot of that navy. So I'm coming in with that just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back through my colors or back into the dusty blue and just kind of softly go around the moon. I will be adding flicks of ink to this, but I want to let this sit and dry first and work on my water line before I add any ink to the top portion here. Now I like to take my tweezers and just kind of help peel up that masking magic to reveal my moon. I can use that for a future card too. And then I can pull up this post-it tape. I'm going to use that same piece of tape to mask off the top portion of my card. I just need where the moon and the water line is. I don't need to mask off the entire thing right now. And now for the water, I am coming in with a splash reactive ink, but I'm coming in from the side going in towards the center. And I'll repeat that on the other side too. 
what I'm doing is creating a highlight in the middle of the card. So it's looking like the moon is shining straight down and kind of reflecting off of the water. So I'm coming in quite a bit. If you happen to get into that center area, that's totally, totally fine. You could just add a very, very light layer of light blue ink if you wanted it not stark white. So now I'm coming in with blue Hawaii reactive ink. Same thing coming in from the outer edges, working my way in. And then once again, I'm bringing in the navy ink to intensify those lines because this is a nighttime scene and the water is typically pretty dark at night. So I'm just going to intensify that a little bit. Once I have all of my ink blending done, I will remove my post-it tape and I wanted to reuse it, but with all the wet ink that it had been covering, it was losing its stickiness. So after removing all of my masks, I'm just gonna use some post-it tapes to, or just some post-it notes to mask off my water. I want to add stars to my background now, but I don't want the stars in the water. I guess you could if it's reflecting the night sky, uh, but I didn't think of that at first. So I'm just masking it off with post-it notes and also masking off my moon. Then I'm going to take white glimmer metallic ink and put a little bit on my glass surface. You could use an acrylic paint, you could use a iridescent spray, whatever you happen to have on hand that you wanna use for stars. But I'm just watering down my glimmer metallic ink a little bit. I put some of that onto an acrylic block and then I'm going to flick this on my background. Now, if you're using an acrylic block like I do, it's going to give you very, very fine stars. If you wanted bigger stars, you could just tap your paintbrush over your background and that's gonna give you a bigger marks for your stars. So while I set that off on the side to dry for a little bit, I'm gonna work on my cover plate. So I'm taking that cover plate from the My Monthly Hero Kit, lining it up over white cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half and die cutting that out. And I did the same thing with pitch black cardstock. Then I'm taking the Hero Arts Precision Glue and I'm adding that all over this background. I really do love this glue tube because it doesn't come out too fast and it stays wet long enough that I can cover the entire back piece of that. And then I'm offsetting the black onto that white. I'm picking a sentiment off of the Wherever You Go stamp set. I love this stamp set. I've used it a few times that I'll be showing you later on in the month. And to do this, I put my background into my Misty lined up that die cut piece as well. And then I'm figuring out where I want or where that sentiment is going to fit. Once I have that figured out, I'm gonna place that down. I'm gonna pick the sentiment up with the door of my Misty and remove my die cut piece. And I'm inking this up with Hero Hue's Onyx Pigment Ink. This is super duper black, great for stamping on top of your blended backgrounds, but it is a pigment ink. So it will take a while to dry. So you can either uh, help speed that along with your heat tool or just set it off on the side. Now I sped the process up with my heat tool so it is dry and then I added liquid glue to the back of my die cut piece here and adding that right on top of my blended background. So we have this beautiful scene in the background of the water and a nighttime sky. Any type of sky really would work with this. So this is the card I created today in the video and here is a look at the card I originally created for my countdown post. So just by changing up your colors, you can deepen your sky, change up those colors, make it a daytime sky. But I really loved having the moon, or it could be a sun, and adding that highlight down the center of the water. Now I'm going to work on a card that is using the background stamp in the My Monthly Hero Kit. So I started with a piece of white cardstock again that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I added a little bit of repositionable tape on the back, placed that onto my background stamp, and then flipped my Misty over backwards. That repositionable tape sticks to the bottom of my Misty so my cardstock won't move. And I'm prepping that with an anti static powder tool. Then I can ink up my background stamp with embossing ink and stamp that down, giving it some nice good pressure because it is a very detailed stamp. But one thing really great about red rubber stamps is they do stamp amazing. So I am going to stamp that twice to make sure that I have everything covered. And then I'll take that over to just some scratch paper that I have and sprinkle on my clear embossing powder. This is going to trap the white of the cardstock underneath. Then I just melt that embossing powder with my heat tool. And now I'm bringing in the Open Windows Fancy Die. I die cut it from white cardstock 
And I'm going to really speed this process up because I didn't end up going with this idea, but I wanted to still show you how my thoughts kind of play out here. So I use the negative and the die, um, negative and positive piece of the window. I wanted to at first start by just ink blending behind the window and the rest of the card being white. I ended up not liking that, but I'm still going to walk you through the steps here. I'm ink blending in that negative space, which is kind of masking off the rest of my card. And I'm ink blending taffy and lemon drop reactive ink. So after I removed my negative piece and I brought my window back in, there's just so much detail in this background stamp. I felt like I was missing out on a lot. So I brought my ink back in and I'm blending that taffy and lemon drop ink back onto the entire piece of cardstock. Starting at the top and I'll blend halfway down and then I'll flip my cardstock and do the lemon drop and where they meet is going to create this really pretty orange. After that's all blended on, I'm gonna just take a clean cloth and buff over the top of it to remove all of that excess ink that is sitting on top of my embossing powder. And I wanted to clean up my edges a little bit and give this a, a white border since this is so much of a background and so much ink blending, I wanted to have some white border to this. So I am using one of the rectangle nesting infinity dies and just trimming that out to about four by five and a quarter. Now I also cut out multiples of the window and I'm layering them together with the precision glue just to add dimension to the window and then adding that right on top pretty much about where I originally had this planned out to be. I'm going to add some images that are off of the My Monthly Hero Kit clear stamp set and there are these silhouette of these critters or these pets and they are so cute. There are four of them here I really fell in love with and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use so I'm just going to stamp them all and I'm stamping this in the intensified black ink. I stamped it a few times to make sure I'm getting a really nice solid black impression and then I will line up the coordinating dies and die cut each of these out so I can decide which one I want to use. I chose the two images that look like there is a cat and dog staring outside or looking out the window and I added a little bits of foam squares to the top of them and they're going to kind of sit on the ledge of my window. So after I remove that release paper I can add them right on there so they pop up real nice with the window. Now for a sentiment for the front of my card I have this one that says can't wait to see you because I thought that was really cute with the critters because they're always watching out the window for their owners to come home. So I stamped the sentiment in unicorn pigment ink onto pitch black cardstock and I'm going to heat emboss this with white embossing powder. This is one of my new favorite tricks I've been doing lately that just really helps give me a better impression of white on the black. To trim this down into a thin strip I am just using this new baby trimmer from Tim Holtz. I don't remember what it's called but I'm calling it the baby trimmer. So I trimmed that sentiment down into a thin strip and ready for my card front. Now to put my card together, like I said, I wanted a nice white border around the edge of my card. So I have a side folding card base here that I just folded up a piece of little uh, washi tape to keep that closed, lined it up in my misty, and then I added adhesive to the blended panel. And by lining up the corners, this is giving me an even margin of that white card stuck around the edge. Then I could add my sentiment with the black foam squares to pop that up a little bit. So there's a look of at least two ideas you can use with the My Monthly Hero Kit, but there are definitely a ton more that you can do. Now here are a couple other cards that I created that are on my blog right now for the hop that is going on. And this is using the City Window Frame Cut. And I combined it with some elements from the City Park Heroscape. Another card I have here for you is using the stamp set wherever you go that I ink blended a lot of the buildings with and I combined it with some elements again from the City Park Heroscape. So these two stamp sets I ended up using quite a bit that I'll be sharing with you throughout the month. I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well along with the additional pictures. Thank you so much for joining me today. Here are a few other videos I think you may be interested in. Thanks again and see you soon.